Hello everyone, welcome to my channel uh, ASP.NET and today I am going to show you how to uh, define the structure of ASP.NET Core. So this is the simple structure you can say and also you can say this is the onion structure, onion architecture in uh, how to design project with the onion architecture and n tier architecture you can say also. So uh, here we have a e-commerce app.wap and this is the uh, second video tutorial of ASP.NET Core and define the structure of ASP.NET Core. So here we have a web project and uh, the next project is you can say ASP.NET new project and the class library project. So just use class class library. Uh, for .NET targets, .NET uh, target, .NET and .NET standards. Okay, so uh, in the C sharp, just use and uh, just select uh, the e-commerce app. Just define e e-commerce app dot models. Okay, so the next project is e-commerce app dot models and uh, version is .NET 6.0 so here we have you can say that uh, the def uh, default class is class 1 so just delete it and here we have uh, two models in the web uh, project that is created earlier so just paste in the models project so here we have a category dot product also in the models and the category we have there is web e-commerce app dot web dot models but uh, the project is e-commerce app dot models the namespace is e-commerce dot app dot models according to the project name and uh, in the product we have dot models so here we have and also delete the models folder and also we have a error view models in the in the next video i will resolve this problem so just delete category as well as well as product from the web projects so delete the both projects from the web because here we have a models project in the separate view so the next uh, thing is to design data access layer add a new project and the class library project and here we have e-commerce app dot data x layer okay so here we have a e-commerce app dot data x layer project so just delete it project and inside it you can add two new folders like uh, first one is data folder and second one is infrastructure where your interfaces is there so just infrastructure and uh, here we have add a new folder repositories repositories and then uh, the next one is generic so here we have add a new folder okay there is a no need so in the uh, okay so just create it generic generic repositories so here we have a data access layer so inside the data uh, we can uh, add a data context class in the generic repositories uh, you can add generic uh, classes that is the template classes and infrastructure that is related to the i product and the i categories and the repositories that implement the i uh, product as as well as the i categories inside the repositories so here we have a second layer that is the data access layer and the next one is a 
view models so add a new project class library and .NET standards and here we have a e-commerce app dot view models so here we have a uh, app dot view models folder so just delete it okay so uh, here we have view models folder and the next one and the last one is utility projects so new project class library project dotnet standard and dotnet this e-commerce app dot utilities okay so here we have a five projects in the solution the first one is models folder the second one is data access layer third one is view models fourth one is utility and the last one is web projects so here we have so this is the entire architecture or you can say onion architecture in asp.net core you can define thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core